starts now. Jake E. Lee, former guitarist for Ozzy Osbourne, was shot multiple times while walking his dog in a Southwest Valley neighborhood early this morning. Metro says he was found with a gunshot wounds in a neighborhood near Dean Martin Drive and Southern Highlands Parkway just before 3 a.m. His publicist says he is currently in an intensive care unit. Lee is expected to make a full recovery. Lee briefly played guitar for Ozzy Osbourne and also played for Badlands and Red Dragon Cartel. And this afternoon, Ozzy Osbourne told TMZ, quote, it's been 37 years since I've seen Jake E. Lee. Still doesn't take away from the shock of hearing what happened to him today. It is just another senseless act of gun violence. I send my thoughts to him and his beautiful daughter, Jade. I just hope he'll be okay. Police say no arrests have been made yet. The incident is currently under investigation. St what up, y'all? This coffee. Back at it, man. It's some pretty crazy breaking news there, man. At first, when I seen this uh, former Ozzy Osbourne guitarist getting shot multiple times in Las Vegas, I was like unaware that he lived in Vegas, was just out walking his dog on a late night stroll, 3 a.m. I was like, man, and it's so wild to hear, too, the police just off the rip are saying this is completely random. I mean, how, how do they come to that conclusion so quick? I don't know, but he's in ICU, supposed to make a full recovery. And for those from the Las Vegas area, am I tripping or is that like a pretty nice neighborhood, right? Or, or, or not, if you are from Vegas, if you know, uh, tap in, comment, as well as just everyone, your thoughts, period. If you're new, make sure to subscribe to Jay Coffee Talk, where we talk music, news, sports, and more. Always want to hear from the people. But you see a couple different theories emerging, you know, from individuals here. Because like I said, this is crazy. Shot 3 a.m. walking your dog. And, and the police just say, yo, it's totally random, completely random. Like, how much of an investigation did, did the Las Vegas police do, man? And I tell you, man, Vegas is a is a cold mess, man. This is just my opinion. Y'all can let me know what you guys think. Anyone from Vegas or knows anything about the city that uh, the police really more or less just try to keep the strip clean or whatever, which that sounds like a joke or whatever, keeping the strip clean. But I'm saying the, the strip is a priority or whatever um, in a lot of different neighborhoods and whatnot. The police are like so um understaffed and the legal system is so twisted and behind there's cases that get thrown out all the time because they don't even can't get all their ducks in a row to prosecute them um properly and just everything's a cold mess and unorganized like i heard this in a traffic stop once from a las vegas police officer flat out told me i should be giving you some tickets for this and that but like our, our priority, the way stuff is, how we're understaffed and just the way things are. Um, all I'm supposed to do is deal with either drugs or violent crime and neither of this is that. It's a traffic thing, but watch out for those uh, cops out there on the motorcycles. Those are the traffic cops. Uh, but check it out. Let's see what I was talking to y'all about, about individuals um, talking about some theories here, right? One of them is pretty out there. The other one, I'm like, man, could this be? Because like I'm saying, shot multiple times in what I think is a good neighborhood, an older individual just out at night walking your dog, unless that ain't the full story, just seems pretty insane for it to just be completely random like that. Um, but check it out. Um, Someone says, uh, what, yeah, and what happened to the dog and what kind of dog? My guess is a French bulldog and was dog mapped. I didn't see anything about that as far as uh, any, you know, news or anything put out there like that. What happened to the dog? But that's one theory. Someone saying that they were targeting this man for his dog. Uh, are French Bulldogs a pretty expensive breed? And is dog napping that big of a business? Like, I want to know everyone out there. Tap in, comment. But seriously, um, you know, I remember seeing this movie. Brad Pitt was in it, Killing Them Softly, where this dude, uh, you know what I'm saying? He was a junkie getting high. He had a whole scheme together where he was out trying to dog nap a bunch of uh, little, like, Pomeranians and stuff like that from uh, up north, take them down to Florida, sell them to uh, older retired people or whatever, whoever wanted the dogs. And then he was gonna get it together to get himself a brick of H 
a junkie's dream so he could sell heroin, make a little money and get high for free. But uh, seriously, is a French Bulldog pretty expensive? Is dog napping a big thing that you've heard of? But when you hear this, it's like, would someone go to the lengths of shooting someone multiple times to dog nap them? That just sounds a bit crazy. Or to dog nap their dog, not them. Um, let's see, someone else though, they have a different theory. You see Ozzy Osbourne saying, man, I haven't um, you know, known this gentleman in 37 years, but I hope he's doing better. But check this out, uh, publicist Amanda Kagan has issued the following press release statement regarding Jakey e. Lee shooting in Vegas. As confirmed by management legendary rock guitarist Jakey e. Lee from Ozzy Osbourne, Badlands, and Red Dragon Cartel comment. If you were fans of any of those other bands as well, we shot multiple times early this morning in Vegas. Uh, he's fully conscious and doing well. He is in ICU, but he's expected to fully recover. So. You know, that is a blessing. That's a good thing, right? But here, like I said, Las Vegas authorities believe the shooting was completely random and occurred while Lee took his dog out for a walk in the early morning hours as the incident is under investigation. No further comments will be forthcoming. Lee and his family, uh, et cetera. But um, check out what someone else says. This guy right here, right? Um, oh, yo, someone says, does Sharon have an alibi. Ozzy Osbourne's crazy ass wife, right? She's known to be quite the um, quite the something. Comment, let me know, fill in the blank, right? Um, this guy laughs. Someone makes it a political thing. They say, hey, get out of the, them, any of them cities that are leftists. It's election season, man. You know, politics, everyone likes to get political with everything. Check this out, man. This guy, he has a, um, a uh, pretty uh, wild theory right here. He's saying um, this has to be uh, uh, this has to be the most Ozzy Osbourne and Darth hideous thing ever. Not a single mention of Jake on their social media about him getting shot. Ozzy did make a comment to TMZ, but they did decide today is a good day to pin bark at the moon to drive more streams without mentioning Jake. People can't see what's going on. The Osbournes want all scores settled for people they ripped off in backstab, shooting Jakey e. Lee the week before Ozzy Osbourne is inducted. So I'm guessing that's, is that to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? i um, surprised he's not already in there. Um, Bob Daisy, Daisley is next. They're releasing the shooter's name, John David Stutz. Cowboys Osbournes decide to strike. This is the week that low life piece of shit Osby Osbourne gets inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a solo artist. Sharon wants all vestige of the people they ripped off and stabbed in the back eliminated as to not ruin their moment. Sharon had orders to hit. Bob Daisley could be next, but you tell the Osborne. So I don't know if that dude's like halfway trolling or he's like dead ass serious. Like Sharon, uh, Sharon Osborne will go to these lengths to try to have uh, former members of the band taken out, you know, because he's being um, inducted as a solo artist. That's why with certain bands, right? Like not that I was a fan of them, but Marilyn Manson, it's a whole band, right? But just named after Manson, I guess Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne was kind of a similar way or whatever, but just a pretty crazy crime, uh, crime news right there, man. Um, Jake E. Lee, legendary, uh, known as a legendary guitarist. You guys heard all the bands he was in, shot up like that in the middle of the night. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think about these Sharon and Osbourne conspiracy theories, the dog napping and all my uh, local Las Vegians, if that's how you say it. I don't think that's right. Ain't that, is that a good neighborhood or not? And uh, you know, your thoughts about it as well as the city, crime, etc. Thanks for watching. Look forward to talking to everyone in the comments. Thanks again for watching and uh, again, subscribe. It's Jay Coffee Talk. More content coming, music, news, sports, and more. I'm out of here. Peace.